watched a player with a 2 to 3 plus KD and wondered how are they moving so fluidly, pushing with such confidence, and missing pretty much no bullets. Well, today we're going to go into a guide to become a better Warzone player in just one game. The way we do it might surprise you. If you've scrolled onto Warzone recently, you've realized that Lockdown Quads is back, and it is one of the best ways to get better at Call of Duty Warzone. So for this guide, we're going to solo queue into Lockdown Quads, and we're going to focus on just a few things here. We're going to focus on using the minimap, one, two, trying to get a knock before we push, and three, trying to constantly switch angles and reposition. So the mode that we're dropping into Lockdown allows us to drop in with our Lona immediately and get a lot more repetition fighting 1v4 squads, which is important. If you want the loadout I'm using today, I will put a card right here that you can go and click on after the video to get those loadouts. But ultimately, this video isn't about loadouts as much as it is how we think and do things. So as you can see, we have these hard points around the map and we're gonna wanna land near the objective because a lot of people are gonna be playing on top. But this is an open rooftop. So if we land directly on it, we're gonna be in trouble and I'm actually gonna aim to land over here. So we're gonna land on this roof right here and immediately look up. Nothing on our mini-map, but we know one's below here. Okay, he's up top now. We can use our audio and our mini-map to kind of see this, right? So we're going to mantle up here. Now I'm going to immediately look up. This guy isn't challenging us, so we're going to replate. The three R's, reload, replate, reposition. Now we get the knock. Now we push up. And just keep moving. Simple as that. Notice I don't look at my minimap too much, just enough here. This guy's above me. So we're going to mantle up here. Strafing left to right every time. Look at our mini-map. What do we see as we're plating up? Looking at our mini-map, making sure we're behind cover. And that is a decoy. Okay, so we know we have a bunch of people across this objective here. We're going to reload our Pulma Yacht. And we're just kind of playing behind cover and height here. Now, there is somebody below us on our mini-map that's actually a person. Got to be careful with that. I'm going to actually fly in here now that I have one week. Look at our mini map. What do we see? Somebody landing in here. You landed below. Now, anytime you push in Warzone, you want to look for what's called an opening. That's basically an opportunity to push. And that could be somebody that is now broken on the other team, a third party, something like that. Something that's really going to give you an opportunity to push in and get some knocks. But obviously, a down is one of the best opportunities here to push. Notice how I use the slide cancel there? I'm going to just keep shooting there so that he can't push through. And that lets me get away. I shouldn't get out of that situation. But because I keep firing and pushing there, it kind of allows me to get out. So movement and all that stuff, of course, is important, but a whole movement guide is not what we can really do in this video. Like there, I hit the slide cancel right into shots. You can check out my full movement guide if you guys want that. Keep my head on a swivel. Oh, that guy was literally a bullet. So unfortunate. Now I'm going to hit the zip here and get right in here and just keep pushing. We got eight kills already. Solo squad. Mansell across here. Somebody below, I can hear him. Somehow alive here. I'm going to actually hit the stem. Now, I know there's people below here. I look at the mini map. What do I see? A bunch of people below on that objective. I'm going to play this head glitch for a second. Reposition. Oh, and there's just multiple. Multiple, multiple, multiple. When you're in an objective like this on lockdown, obviously there's going to be a ton of teams dropping in and you're going to die. But honestly, by dying, you can learn a lot as well. And people don't realize that. You can learn an awful lot about mistakes you're making. Is it because of aim that you're dying? I'm going to land in here because it's contested and there's a ton of people on the bottom. 
Not the fog. So once again, make sure you have plates. This guy is obviously going to push me and get rocked. And we just keep moving. See how I'm like constantly moving here? All right. There's a ton of people below here. That tells me there's one in the corner. Oh my goodness. Don't be afraid to use your throwing knife. I'm going to play this angle here. Oh, and I just lose by a bullet to him. But it's all about playing that angle there. And this is going to be so much chaos. You're going to get knocked. My number one tip is just don't get discouraged and try to figure out why you died there. So we look back at why I died there. It was really because I didn't fully commit to plating up and repositioning. And I tried to challenge a little too soon. I can play behind that cover, fully plate up, and then challenge him from behind the cover instead of jumping out. Now here, I'm going to land right in. Try to go for a knock there. Miss it. Gonna stem here. And just keep moving. I probably will go down here. And somehow didn't. Immediately plate. Play behind the cover here. Now I reload. Personally, if I'm one shot, I'm gonna try to plate up first and then try to reload. Miss some shots here, that's okay. Now I get the down. I'm looking at the mini map. Reload, because I know there's multiple on me under here. Not going for that thirst. Oh my gosh, there's just way too many people around here. But notice here. I'm not going to go for that thirst when I know there's like three or four guys around. A lot of you guys will go, oh, let me go and get that thirst and get that one kill. But why give up one kill when you can get multiple? And even though it didn't work out for me exactly how I wanted there, I think the principle still applies. Oh, and that time, just getting shot by so many people around that maybe I need to land a little bit further away. Because like I said... One of our main goals here is to get it down before we push into something. Something like lockdown is going to be highly chaotic. And so therefore, we definitely need to get it down before we push into any fight where there's three or four enemies. And honestly, another good way to warm up is by playing solo duos and trying to go that route. So I see one below on the minimap. And this guy flying in, I'm going to try to beam this guy. And unfortunately, what did I do? I put myself in a position where this guy, who I saw in the minimap, could shoot me while the other team. I just got shot by two teams, and that's because I put myself on a roof where I could get shot by two teams. So instead, what we're going to do is try to land somewhere with a little more cover. And that means I'm going to land right on this roof where only these guys can shoot me. See? Only this guy can shoot me. I saw somebody over here, but the minimap is showing me that there's a lot of people below. And I see this guy up here. Now I'm going to reposition here. Have my throwing knife out in case this guy's coming up the stairs. Now we have multiple down. I'm going to instead play this head glitch angle in between in case they push me. They didn't. I don't need to reload here. Heard this guy up here. Immediately go out of cover and now back out. So now I know there's a team fighting on the other roof. Two of them to be exact. I'm going to first throw some plates down. That way I have that increased movement speed if I need it. Now I challenge with my pull yacht out here. Don't see them. Meaning they're probably all below. So now we go. Let's see if we can bait him out. Maybe think, have him think we ran away. Now we take this so we don't even have to reload. This guy ran away, almost certainly. We'll take this guy's MTZ. And I think using meta loadouts is like something that you almost have to do when you're fighting in like solo quads. As much as it sucks to say. I'm going to take this. That way you can hit the self-revive faster if I need. Everybody is rotated away except this one guy here. Okay, he just tried to 360 me or something. And it ended up dying from fall damage. Maybe he needed that Mountaineer perk, you know? Flaring in this mode is interesting because you do respawn. Kind of makes me wonder why people do it. 
Notice I'm just strafing backwards there. Oh, I almost, I almost got that other guy with the throwing knife. But notice there, if we slow that down, I'm constantly strafing to the left and backwards and jumping, making it harder for me to get hit. That guy has a shotgun and that wins me that fight. Obviously this is the second dude and I don't get as lucky. Let's land right up here again. Cause I see a guy landing in here, hit or shoot right at the bottom. Knock one. Switch to our LMG. And honestly, I got way more kills there than I should have for one guy sitting on a roof. It took four of them pushing there to actually get me down there. And that's where you're gonna start to notice is if you play smart, play behind cover, it's gonna make it a thousand times easier. So let's land in here on the new objectives, like right here, and just play this roof for a second. Switch to our LMG. Somebody dropping in. We got 25 kills here. Now I need to find some armor. And somebody just lands in on me with no audio. These are the types of deaths that I highly encourage you guys not to get discouraged by. It's so easy to be like, oh, that was unfair. I shouldn't have died there. And I think if you stop thinking like that and stop thinking about your KD, it'll make you a lot better. All right, let's once again land in here. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna land right here. I think it'll be safer for me to actually land in here like this. I'm gonna hold this angle. I'm looking at the mini map. I don't see anybody exposing themselves up here, but I know there's people on the objective. Somebody dropping in. Somebody dropping in above me here, right here. That's where looking at the mini map is crucial, which his name is crucial. Ironic. So these guys are below me on the objective, and this guy is right here in the open. Now, when you have an LMG, you might as well keep shooting, which is what I did there. Get that finished, because why not? Now we're going to go all the way around here. Get that finish. Play this angle. Now we reposition again. Put plates on. I'm going to go back up top here. Boom. Keep it moving. It's the number one thing that I see people struggle with is there's people that they just don't keep moving. And that is more important than you can possibly know. We ended this game here with just about 30 kills. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like the video, join the Discord. And as always, stay humble, stay hungry. Two more videos on your screen. We'll see you guys for tomorrow's upload. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant.